In this video I'm going to show you how to make your power problems go away. The first thing is find a valuable cold spot. I found two here which are normal. So I get 120 cold per minute from both. The spot here is north of the starting location. It's easily uh, recognizable because it's uh, damn it. because it's uh, near uh, near this lake. First, you drive through a valley, and then up a path, and then down here. But in the end of the video, I can show you the how to reach it exactly. So when you reach a spot, you have to cut all the trees down to get some space. Put put the miner on the on cold patches, at least one. Then you merge the belts in the merger. With the merger, there you need a belt two. And here you have a splitter, and then you build three identical parts from this. I've already constructed the first part. The coal comes, gets in another splitter, again two, three sides. I've opted for storage containers after that, so you can have a buffer when uh, you don't uh, need as much power the uh, storage container gets filled and, and if you need more power you drain them after those you have again another splitter going to the coal generator so three one splitter the container Depending on how much you want to buffer, you can put the containers directly in front if you want to buffer for very much. If you want to buffer not that much, you can do it as I did and put them here or you can put them in front of here or between there. Then you only have one, here you have three. This will get you nine and if you put them in front of the cogenerators you will have uh, seven, 27 buffer chests you repeat this pattern on this side you cut down the whole forest and build another nine of them and you can build the other nine there the peak of uh, peak power will be 1.35 uh, gigawatts and with this um, with this thing here or with both of those you can power nearly 23 continuously so if you are running uh, at least 23 of them at max capacity you will run out of coal eventually but you can uh, even do something against it if you of them. And the cool thing is you will really get above one gigawatt so your power needs will be long gone from this and the interesting thing is they uh, provide one belt and one belt is enough for nearly uh, 12 power plants of so so Sadly, the ratios doesn't don't fit that much that good, so I opted for this approach at first. You can see the uh, power starts, and this is just one uh, block, so you can triple or nearly triple that because there are some. Uh, the uh, biofuel in my hometown and what you can do in the I just built uh, poles everywhere to get that the first intention was to build a truck station 
but it's easier to just build all the power poles because I only needed to build 20 of them to get to my base so it's not that much work and if you build all the uh, truck stations then you have to configure the trucks to move all the cargo and so on it's way easier to uh, do it with the uh, power poles because no matter how much you power generate you will always tr uh, transport it with this one cable because there aren't uh, transmission losses and so on and here you can see the way how you reach it easily recognizable And the tricky part is finding this here because here that's the path you need to find. Here were trees, so you have to watch out a bit for this part. That's the big road, which will get you uh, back to the spawn point. Here you can see the poles along the way. If you have played a bit the game, you should uh, recognize this part of the game. If you are looking, uh, if you are starting and looking for iron deposits, then there's a big one right at the end of the road. Yes, I thought about getting all this coal here, but. When I get all this coal here, which would work, but then I have to build all the big ass coal uh, power plants here. And if I build 27 coal power plants here, it's very hard to, to uh, build your factory here. So I opted for the, uh, just build the power production, uh, the, yes, the power production here, the coal production, and get all the power over here with the uh, power cables. I will uh, trash, trash uh, this power plant and the and the truck stop but since it's still full and still fueling this is also full <laughs> which could uh, take quite a while I will uh, leave it running so yeah this is the very good uh, iron spot there are three iron deposits there all normal quality there are two, uh, this is a bad one for uh, limestone and then there are two bad iron deposits here oh no, no not here uh, 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 down there, then you can see the extractor and the other one and there see for the good copper I think the starting position is somewhere there and to get to the coal this is the valley you should recognize easily then down there up there and yeah, up the slope then you can go down to the uh, big lake and find it quite easily I hope this helped to fix your power needs. If you want to help me, subscribe and share and until next time.